Okay, now uh, one of the features, again, not documented in the manual is the fact that, you know, you can use the editor to your advantage, okay? Uh, and the way you do that is now you've created, you know, loadings for L is equal to zero, L is equal to uh, zero, VLT step one, L is equal to zero, VLT step two, okay? Uh, the next... Um, a uh, few steps that you need to create is um, is basically L is equals to three there you know and and basically the loading would start at three and at six but on the right hand side the loading would you know, start at 18 and end at 21 okay so it is basically a copy of all these three load cases okay and the best way to uh, to uh, you know um, do that copy as use the editor okay now this is not in the manual because the steps are a bit uh, complicated might be a bit more complicated for some users so you can go to edit edit input command file and I, well, I can just show you how that works okay now in the editor if you go to the end these are all the all the loadings okay that we have created so far you see load number one P member load, load number two, and load number three. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just put in some stars, you know, just to distinguish the loadings. This is load one, this is load two, say for example, and this is load three. Okay, so the stars basically allow us to, to distinguish. Uh, you know what those loadings are now now I can take all those loadings okay and uh, copy it okay, this is just a demonstration okay copy it uh, suppose we wanted to create L is equals to 0 is already created L is equals to 3 6 7 9 and 12 okay so 3 6 7 9 and 12 so we have to copy it like five times okay so we did it once um, then uh, we need to do it a second time, third, fourth, and this is the fifth of time, okay? So here uh, we see load cases one, two, three, okay? Then we have load case number four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, In a 9, 10, 11, 12, in a 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and lastly we have 18, okay? So 18 load cases have been have been created, right? Uh, now we also have the title for each load case. So you see, if you go to load case number four, we have L is equal to zero. In fact, for load cases four, five, and six, the L should be three. Okay, so I'm just going to set it to three. For load cases seven, eight, and uh, seven, eight, and nine the L should be 6, so I'm going to set that to 6. Uh, for 10, 11, and 12, we want L is equal to 7. And for uh, 14, 15, and 16, we might want L is equal to 9. Uh, 17, uh, sorry, 16, 17, and 18, we want 12, okay, so I might have missed one, okay, so, uh, 9, 9, this should have been 9, 
So 13, 14, and 15 should have been 9. Uh, 12, 11, and 10 should be 7. 9, 8, and 7 should be 6. And these should be 3, okay? So, so now we have the right ones. Now, all we need to do is just change the start and the end distances, and then we're done, okay? So we say for the first load case, uh, we had the loading starting from 0 to 3, okay? So in the second load case, uh, I mean the second, I mean the fourth load case, which is L is equal to 3, it'll start from 3 and at 6, okay? So that's all we need to change, okay? 3 to 6. So we'll just change these numbers to 3 to 6. Then uh, for 7, 8, and 9, it starts at 6, ends at 9. Okay. And then for 10, 11, 12, starts at 7, ends at 10. And then 13, 14, and 15, it starts at 9 and ends at 12. And 16, uh, 17, and 18 starts at 12 and ends at 50. Okay. Okay, so once you've created those loadings, okay, you can close uh, the stat graphics. Okay, and what we'll do is we will start off uh, Stat Pro again, open up that file that we were working on, and on the left hand side, if you go to General Load Definitions, see you should be able to see all these loadings created, load cases created, right? So we already only had load cases 1, 2, and 3, and based on that, we were able to create the other loadings, right? So you can actually see that in action. Okay. So that's load case number 18, right? So we've created all these load cases, and basically our aim is to design the whole bridge for all those loadings, see if the deflections would be under control for all those load cases. Um, now we need to create two more load cases. One is for the weight, and there's also a lateral load test that they do on these bridges. You need to create that lateral load test case, okay? So now click on load case details again. Click on add. Now you don't have to do whatever I did in the editor, okay? That was just for your information that you can do it. Uh, if you have a good understanding of the editor, you can you can easily do that. Uh, but if you're not comfortable with it, okay, you can use the graphics, create each load case uh, manually, and assign the loadings. Okay. Uh, click on add, and what we'll do is we will create a new load case and call it weight. And this is on page 87 of your manual. Click on Add. And then we'll create a new load case. Step number 44, page 87, lateral load. Click on Add. Okay. And hit the Close button. So on the right-hand side, what we see is weight and lateral load. Okay. So now if you go to load case number 19 or weight, you can just click on the add button, select self weight loading, click on add. So that'll just give you the self weight of the structure and assign that to the view. Click the lateral load case title, which is load case 20. Uh, you know, I'm talking about, uh, again, page 87, step 50. Click on the add button. The load case items dialog box appears. Let's go to physical member load case, okay? And just go to uniform 
force. So in the uniform force, we will put in the input shown in figure 9, page 88. Okay, and the numbers are basically negative 0 0.0125 kip per foot. The loading starts at a distance of 6.5 and at a distance of 9.5 feet in the global y direction. Click on add. Then we also need a concentrated force, okay, uh, and that's given on page 89 of your manual, figure uh, 10. So you just go to concentrated force, and the force we have is just 0 0.075. So it's like 70, uh, 7, uh, yeah, 0 0.075, so 75 pounds of loading lateral loading and the loading is applied at a distance of eight feet from the start of the member and the loading is along the global z direction okay click on add of course we need to take self-weight into account so go to self-weight click on add and close this dialog box okay now uh, this first lateral load case entry needs to be assigned uh, to the beams shown in figure 11, okay, on page 89. Okay, so select the physical beams cursor. Okay, you can just say use cursor to assign, click on assign. Okay, zoom in, okay, select the first physical member and you select the second physical member so you have two sort of distributed forces, right, on the member. I mean, uh, two, not, we just have like uh, a distributed load on each member, okay? Now, concentrated force, uh, that needs to be applied to the member that's shown in, in on page 90, step number 12, okay? Sorry, figure number 12. So again, click on that, click on, uh, you know, concentrated force, physical loading, use cursor to assign, and just click on that member, outside member, okay? Oops, that was the distributed load. So if you assign loading by mistake, there's an option called toggle load, and you can click on that member again, that loading would go, okay? Now you click on concentrated load. So, so you can actually click on that member uh, physical or oh, we didn't have the physical beam cursor so use cursor to assign I'm not sure okay so that worked okay we didn't maybe have the physical beam cursor on but you see now now it's assigned to member number four okay it's not just showing up because the scale is, is basically off, okay? Here that you see like a small green arrow, but if you right click and click on labels and scales, apply immediately, okay? Just reduce the scale for the point load, you see? It'll scale that point load for you, okay? Now go to self-weight, click on assign to view, assign, okay? So, so you see we have completed the loading loading portion this way okay now in the next exercise we'll look at how to perform the analysis on the structure that's included in the next exercise which is exercise number 11.